Hi everyone, this is part 2 of what if Deku was a Mandalorian. In or what if female Deku was a Mandalorian in the Ruby universe. Where we left off was Weiss and Ruby trying to take pictures of them both sleeping together in their bed. Though with them both waking up and chasing them down with Ruby and Weiss immediately leaving. So yeah. Though Izumi just points the gun at them with Flash sitting on, just saying, No one would care, no one would remember them. With Winter immediately just pulling, putting putting her hand on the weapon and just saying, No, even I want to do that and I'm not gonna go there. With her just saying, Ah, come on. With her just saying, No. With Izumi just saying, Fine, putting the weapon back, or she can't really, because she's in PJs. If I didn't explain that before. Um, and holds it by the holster with Winter just putting her blade in more or less a position where it won't hurt anyone, so yeah. They both go to the dorms and change into the regular clothes. With Izumi actually getting it on it. A vehicle. I'm just going to. I actually didn't take it with. What's the right word? Um. You want? I'm gonna search up a bike that you, they can use. Also, I don't anything in here. With Izumi, um, what's a good picture? With the Izumi getting to this, with Winter immediately being shocked and asking her, "How the hell did you get that?" With Izumi just saying, I kind of made it out of spare parts that kind of got scrapped from my old ship. With her just saying, is that thing safe? With Izumi just saying, yeah, in a sarcastic voice. Knowing it still had thruster issues. So. Weiss gets on it with a helmet and, well, with Izumi just doesn't really have to because she's already wearing a helmet. So they go into town and well everyone she they're kinda of like the start of the show. With Yang and Mili seeing their vehicle or their bike and geeking out to think, What the hell is that? That looks so cool. With them guys she's stopping at a coffee shop and getting coffee. They're immediately getting berated by Yang, just saying, How the hell did you make that? That's so cool. With Blake just in her face, Tommy just saying, <sighs> Also talking to Winter, just saying, So you're also, so you're, you're, yeah. So Zumi's also into bikes? With Winter just saying, I guess so. She didn't really say she was making this, so I guess it was a surprise for us both. With Yang immediately asking, so can I try it? With Izumi just saying, fine. Though if anything happens to it, you're paying. Or you're helping me fix it. With Yang, with the stars in her eyes, just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Though once they get on it, it immediately goes flying. With, yeah, can't speak. With Yang immediately punching it. With, Ru with Izumi... In the back seat, holding on to Yang and Mili, just says, "Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down." With Weiss and Blake immediately being concerned for Izumi's life, though Emily just going to laugh very, very hard. So yeah. Um. What next? What's next? Um. Uh, what can I say next? So yeah, when they get back, 
it immediately f- goes, the thrusters blacks out when they get back to race. Though it can still hover, it's just mainly you have to push it now. With, it's going to be just saying you're fixing that. Or you're buying the parts to fix that and helping me fix it. With, with Yang just immediately saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Star still in her eyes and looking at it. With, her just, with, Yang, with Blake just saying you can come to our area. You can come to the garage to fix it. Because Yang does help out with the garage time to time. So she does know people there that can help. With them all pushing it in. And being the star of the show, basically, that vehicle. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Just imagine that was in here. So just imagine that bike that was in there. So they all fix with Ying and Izumi fixing the bike. And get, having some conversation, so yeah. And this was by the time it was lunch, so they, they kind of, they basically fixed the vehicle, gave it a new paint job, basically. So it's now imagine what I said before, just blue, or sorry, black and gold, matching um, what's her name? What's the name? Matching um, Izumi's armor. Though it does have a tint of white, mainly because it was kind of like, it. Because she also likes white mainly because of white now. So she adds that into the mix here. So if you want to imagine that, um, try to imagine it. If you can, if someone can make a picture of that, it would be cool. So I'll continue. So yeah, after that, it's lunchtime and they all go and Weiss and, or sorry, I always say wise instead of winter. With winter and Izumi getting on the bike again, and Izumi just saying, you're not going on my bike ever again because of that. With, you could just see anime tears going over across Yang's face. With Blake just chuckling, just saying, yeah, I understand why. Slightly giving a smile to winter and Izumi, and they both left. With, you could just, though, after that, you could, with, yeah, I can speak, with Yang just sulking, just saying, oh, I want to go on it again. With Blake just comforting her, just saying, it's okay, she'll forgive you in a while, I don't know when. So, yeah, um, I, what's next? After that, they basically, the next days were basically just numb with Izumi and Winter hanging out, going on more dates, stuff like that. At this time, we're at the point of where, um, so let's actually skip to where Salem is now. Let's go there. Salem's mad. She's very, very mad. Because one, her invasion went wrong. No one really got hurt. Other than the first like strike of people that didn't really go into the haven or go into the floating city area. Mainly because they were either stupid or something. Or they weren't there in time. Or they lived on the outskirts so they kind of got the first, f- first front of it. So yeah. With... Her immediately going to see Cinder and ask her because she Cinder is more of still still has no arm though she is mainly still of how should I say what's the right word has class in her basically it's like she still has the red dress and stuff like that nothing's really changed because she still attacked Pira and she kind of killed with. With her, with what's her name? With Yang, or with Ruby doing her eye thing. Though it wasn't as effective. Though it kind of just mainly stood the 
what should I say, to the big grim in place while Yang, while Winter and Izumi th- did the rock launchers for contest, for some context. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, she still has that. And Raven still has the maiden powers. No, Salem is not very interested in the maiden powers anymore. She's more concerned about Atlas. And Haven's more or less has filled to the brim with Grimm. Though, when Haven does come up in a conversation between all of them, Izumi speaks up and just says, What if we made Haven a stronghold and start taking out Grimm there? Because they want to try to take as much Grimm as they want out so they can... Make it def- so they can actually attack Salem when she's weak and either trap her or imprison her because they all know they can't do anything to her. With Oscar, with Oscar and Ospin agreeing, with them both saying, with Oscar saying, Yeah, that's actually a good idea, with, with him also saying, Yeah, and Ospin also thinks it's a good, good idea with him, his, yeah, I can speak, with his. Eyes just flashing for a sec. So, yeah, um, but next. Um, so they ended up going to Haven with a lot of troops, mainly just machines, though. Ruby's team was there, and Izumi was there with her ship, with Winter on the gunning position. Also, yes, Winter is mainly with Izumi now, mainly because they work very well together. And that's how bit, how the military works. If they find people that work very well together, <coughs> they keep them together. They don't split them apart. That's basically splitting a very powerful force into two. So yeah, um, so they kind of more or less gave Ruby's team air support and did their own thing by taking out Grimm, because they were more or less taking out the Sky Grimm and they were taking out the Bottom Grimm, though they did help them at certain times when the Grimm became more or less heavy duty and their weapons couldn't do very much with, though turrets, her turrets and the blasters from her ship did lots of damage to everything. It was more or less a one kill shot seeing how big those plasma lasers were and Salem saw that what they're doing so what she does was she sends in more Grimm with Atlas not able to with Atlas knowing about this because they were able to actually because the Aesops were actually being more focused on Atlas so Haven was actually taken back so they People started actually going back to the regular housing and stuff like that. With better conditions being made now that they basically done everything. Also, martial law is in place, though the council does actually agree with everything that's going on. Because they see fit that everything had to be happen. Because Robin was basically... Um, basically was not kicked out or more it was more or less she um took herself out and everyone hated basically um Weiss's dad. So Ironwood basically was the only person that could really take the position, so either way it would stay the same, whether it be martial law or anything else. So yeah. Um what should I do next? Um so yeah. Um, back to the Team Ruby and everyone else. With them taking out a lot of the troops, with but Weiss or Winter just says it's really it's too um quiet now here. With Azumi on the comm, just saying, "What do you mean?" With them knowing about how Salem can actually see what happens to Grim. Just saying, if Salem knew that we were attacking, wouldn't they? Wouldn't she send more reinforcements? You know, to 
make sure we don't take back th this place anymore. With Izumi actually taking a note to that, with her just saying, yeah, you're probably right. With her, with Izumi just saying, I'm going to go see if Team Ruby's okay. Because they were actually playing, um, not in the direction of Team Ruby. They are more or less taking out Sky creatures, the Sky Grim. Though when they see them, they see they're very pinned down. Like, they're in a trench, basically trying to shoot, trying to communicate. And unbeknownst to them, their comm system was down. That was done by secret, because they were using a, more or less, something that was inside the, a communication that was inside Atlas. So, it was turned off. No one knew why. Same thing was happening to Ad the, more or less, was saying to the um, Ace team, but they were more together, so they became... So they kind of just had the range of their communication themselves away. Though they were still shy, though they didn't know why. This was the, sc the scorpion guy making his move and actually trying to sabotage the sh them. With Izumi and Winter Amelie rushing in with the turrets stopping, blowing when they actually didn't, they didn't land, they were more or less just in front of everyone and just shooting Grim. Izumi was firing her blast, the front blasters and Winter was shooting out of a turret. When everyone just gets piled onto the... Though when everything was back, everyone piled onto the... onto the ship and went back because that's how they got there because what happened was they basically land for a sec so the team Ruby could get out so they could go survey the, they that can speak to survey the big area in the sky for any grim that can fly. So yeah. Um how can I say this next? Um so yeah. Though seeing he so seeing the scorpion guy did make his move, he was found out. So um Ironwood seeing he was probably the only person that could probably take him, went off and tried to fight him. He was successful in taking him out, mainly because well, whenever he tried to hit him, he kinda used his metal parts to block. So with him just knocking him out and taking him into custody. With them putting it back. Though Salem was even mad now I can speak. Even more mad now that seeing um a person that knows her plan is getting captured. With Cinder actually going up to Salem and asking if she wants to wants to uh, what's the right word? Wants to try to distract, uh, distract them in a different area. With Sam actually being open to options, asking, "What do you mean, Cinder?" In her voice of very much scariness. With her, with why? Taking out something and opening it up, showing a symbol. The Empire symbol. With Salem just immediately going off and just saying, what's that? With um, her just saying, it's something that, uh, that that woman that fell from the sky that's been making us have so much trouble with your plan. That's the government up there. If we could strike a deal with them. They could destroy them and leave. And with Salem and Amelia just saying, fine, is there some way we can get in contact with them? With Cinder just saying, not at the moment, though we would probably need something, a big communication tower to be made. With Salem getting a scheme, though I'm not saying it now. So Salem goes off 
and get something or someone. When sh the person comes in, Sinner's immediately shocked, saying, how is she alive? With her just saying, she's alive because I am in control of her. She I'm, I con I'm mind controlling her right now, so she's a mindless dog. She'll do whatever I say, and anyone that follows me like you will also be whatever you say she would follow. She does have this decision. She does have some memories of the past. Those they're all blurry to her, which I made sure she couldn't remember. With her just immediately going off, saying, "You could probably use her to distract Team Ruby, Ace, the Aesops, and um that those two." Um, troublesome people, referring to Winter and uh, um, Izumi. Because she thought she killed both of them at some point, though, at, though, when everything went to hell, though, after with the survivors and fighting them, she found out that she didn't kill them at all. She just, more or less, just, how should I say, tried to, they, it was more or less they, she was badly damaged them both hurt severely. So yeah. Um. Also, you can all guess of who it is, though. I'm sure some of you might know, already know who it is. So Cinder tells her, "Go find someone, someone." Ah, what's the right word? Go find Team Ruby and distract them for as long as you can. With the person just bowing, just saying, yes, master, in a very dark voice. And they can, and her eyes were all black, where the white would be, and all red where her eyes was, which made... Everyone know that she was still under the mind control of Salem. That was more or less how they could tell she was mind controlled or not. With um, is it with everyone? So let's head back to everything back there. They're all on the ship. Everyone's tired. That our team Ruby was tired and immediately saying, "Why the hell were Why the hell were the comms down?" With Izumi just saying, I don't know why, we're, but we're heading back to Atlas, so we'll find out when we get there. Though, once halfway there, they do get a call from Ironwood, with her answering and just saying, um, with Ironwood just saying, good, you're okay. We had a, um, someone from Salem trying to take over the comms, or trying to sabotage our systems sadly they only took out the comms without then we found out about it he is in the interrogation area with izumi just saying so that's why our comms were all scrapped with i would just saying yeah also the aesops are here so they actually are they confirm what you're confirming right now we're her saying okay we're on our way back we got probably most of the Grim that are just the scratch. Yeah. The Grim that are trying to be secretive and not come out as much. With Ironwood just saying, okay, good job. See you guys back in a bit. Which, when they get back, they see everyone and. More or less, just say, are you guys okay from your mission? They, It's more or less debriefed. They're deb being debriefed and stuff like that. Afterwards, Izumi asks if she could actually go into the room with the guy. With, which is asking with, why? What are you going to do to him? 
being a in a like regular voice because he trusts Izumi. With her just saying, he's one of those types of, I'm guessing he's one of those types of guys that don't break easily. With Iron just saying, yeah, he probably won't break any threats. With her immediately getting something out of her bag with her, with a pack of weapons. With him just, her just saying, yeah, I'm not going to make any threats. With Ironwood immediately just saying, are you sure about that? Being a more concerned voice. With her just saying, yeah, I know. I'm probably going to get yelled at by Winter, though. With Winter actually coming in already and just saying, yeah, you are going to be, I am going to be yelling at you for that. With her just saying, ah, damn it, under her breath. With her just saying, hey, babe. Because by this time, Ironwood does know they're dating and stuff like that. With her, with Winter slightly getting mad and just saying, you're going to torture a prisoner to get information out of them. With her just saying, yes, I am, why? With her just saying, aren't we supposed to be better than them? With actually Izumi looking down. With her just saying, I'm probably not better than anyone. With Ironwood immediately going, being concerned and... Holding a weapon, not holding a weapon, but just looking, holding a weapon in his holster. With Winter being very shocked. With her just saying, what do you mean? With her explaining some of the things she doesn't like saying when she was a bounty hunter. With her, with Winter being shocked and kind of scared of her. Not scared of more or less. It's more or less just being, why'd you keep that a secret from me? With with Weiss just, or with Izumi just saying, I didn't want to bring it up because looking down and just saying, I was ashamed of what I did, stuff. Which is also how I got this showing the dark saber. So, yeah. Um, what next? My pe with her going into more details, just saying my people are very cult based and war based, so we are warriors. So we have a lot of different mythology or a lot of different methods of doing stuff than you guys do. With Winter just being concerned for her now, and just being though I ha that's another reason why I left the Rens because they betrayed the Mandalorian people. So I just, to make sure I basically was, which is why I became a bounty hunter, so I could pay for my, per se, stuff I have to do. So, yeah. With Winter hugging her, just saying, it's okay, you're you're not a bounty hunter anymore. With Izumi, with Izumi actually hugging her and saying to, saying to Arnwood, just saying, if you don't want me to, I won't, though I doubt just making out a threat would do anything. With him just saying, I really don't want you to do it, though I'm not sure we have a choice. With Winter, stop, immediately stop hugging her. Is it me and just saying, what do you mean we have no more choices? Don't you see that's wrong and we shouldn't do that? With Iron would say they being not annoyed, but more or less just like <sighs> we're in the middle of a war. We have no. T we need to get as much information as him as possible. If we were just to charge him and send him to prison, he would probably just break out or at least start killing people in the prison, trying to cause chaos. Though the conversation was cut short. Because something was, because someone gave a call, just saying, Ironwood, Ironwood, General Ironwood, the back thrusters are being are being sabotaged by someone in red hair, or in red and black, red and black hair. We need your help. With him being, what the hell? What's the description? With them giving more of a 
They're in black clothes with a black cloak and a, um, what did it, what should the weapon be? With them just saying, it's like a, um, hook weapon. With him knowing who that is now, with him just saying, how in the hell is she alive? How in the hell is Summer Rose alive? And why is she betraying us? Though as soon as they get there, they see her with the evil grin on her face, with the black clothes and the and the eyes. They just see the eyes. With Winter only seeing Ru Summer Rose once when she was still in training. With her just saying, what the hell happened to her? With Izumi not knowing any of this, just saying, I don't know who, I don't know if you know her, but we have to take her out. With Winter just saying, yeah, yeah, I know, though. Still, what the hell happened to her? Because, so, yeah. With them starting a fight with her. With her being actually on the back foot at first. Though, the fight goes into a standstill mainly because she is more fighting capable than Winter. Winter actually, with Winter actually getting hurt very badly... Izumi's pissed now. She, because she just saw her girlfriend, her lover just got hurt very bad. So she takes out her dark saber and immediately ignites it, destroying the weapon she is wearing. With, but when but someone comes in, when she was about to put the weapon down. Crow comes in, and he just sees Summer, and everything's falling apart. The ship is basically almost about to go in free fall if Summer doesn't do anything. Crow immediately goes and ta with him immediately going to say some some Summer. Him remembering the day that she sacrificed herself to save him. After a stupid mistake they were trying to do to Salem. With, but something happens to Winter. Her eyes flicker to the silver and white tone they go to. With her just saying. With it just immediately going back. With her just being. With her immediately just going back to screaming. She just goes, ah, my head. And Summer finally has a reason to fight back against the conscious because she's just been in there. She's seen everything that her that she's been doing by commands. And now she finally knows now now she has the strength to actually fight back seeing her lover crow. Yes, this actually does they were a married couple, though they kept it a secret, so yes, Ruby still thinks he's Uncle Crow. And Yang still thinks of him as stepdad. Or Uncle Crow still. Same thing, because when Raven's still his, her mom and Raven's brother is Crow. So, yeah. Um, with him just, with her immediately screaming and just, Crow just saying, fight it, fight it. With him immediately hugging her. Though she passes out, though not before just saying, Thank you. With her passing out, with him immediately getting hold of her and screaming to Izumi, just saying, Get that shit, get this thing back in the air so we don't fall to our death. With Izumi just nodding and just saying, Already on the, already trying to do that. Heading to the panel and trying to reactivate stuff that she deactivated from the console. But five, and there was like 10 seconds before they crashed and she barely made it, which she basically got the thrusters working again, which ba basically made everyone just more or less just shake. The whole thing just shook. The whole floating tower shook. With everyone just saying, what the hell was that? 
Though when everyone realizes the thrusters kicked back then, they realize, oh, with Crow coming out of the engine bay, with Summer, with Ruby seeing this, and her just saying, wait, who's that? With Yang just cries, with her just saying, how is she alive? How's, how, how? Just mumbling to herself with the unconscious body of Summer being carried by. She's not dead, she's just unconscious because they took all that she had to break the mind control. With, and Salem is pissed. And Salem's more than pissed. She's enraged. She's about to go there outside herself. But. Cinder, Emerald, and Mercury see something. She's mad. They could take it, take her over and rule her, and rule the Grim. With Cinder getting that evil smile. With her, with Summer immediate, with Cinder going, asking, um, Salem to come outside and see what she has for her. Cinder in a very pissed off look, just saying, what do you want? I'm not in the mood right now. And the Grim pulls underneath them. And she kicks Salem into it. With Salem just looking back and just saying, why? The eyes could tell everything. She gave Cinder everything. Though when she looked at Cinder, she just had a grin. An evil grin on her face. You would think this would make Salem more powerful, but it doesn't. It actually reverses. It makes her weak. She's in her form of before everything happened. She's not. She doesn't have dark powers anymore. She's not the Salem with the white hair and pale skin with the red eyes and black, white part of her eyes. She's not like that. She has her blonde hair, the blue eyes. The the regular skin face. Though still in the black clothing she does wear. With her immediately going and drowning. She doesn't, she can't do anything. She's drowning in the pool. With her just saying, well played. Well played, Cinder. I taught you too well. So at least I'll leave a successor. With Mercury just saying, So, what do we do now, boss? Cinder getting a... With Cinder just going to a strict face now. Saying, We are going to kill them all. Though when this reaches on the guy that actually, um, what's his name? That's actually torturing, um, actually, you know what, never mind what I just said. Spoiler alert. Um, so the guy that was actually torturing Oscar right now in the series. Um, basically, he's very, he's not like, he's lost now because he thought Salem was immortal. He she, he couldn't be defeated. She was a force of nature. Though, when he saw her die, because he was also in that balcony, she's because Sinner told him what was going on. With him just saying, "You're going to die afterwards when she comes back." You know that, right? Though she never went out of the pool. And they could see that with him being shocked, just saying, how the hell is she dead? To himself very quietly. With something happens to Osman, he scr with Oscar, he just screams out in pain. With the voice of Salem going through their heads, just saying, I am. With her just kind of like saying, 
I am sorry for what I did to you guys. With them being shocked, the pool of grim, it tinted my look on the world. It made me into something evil. And I'm sorry that I hurt you so much, Osvin. Looking at his face and putting her hand on the sink. Though fading away into dust. And that dust just fades away. Getting blown past them. And when Oscar wakes, Iron was there. And him, with him just saying, Iron what? Salem is dead, with everyone just being shocked. Though when Osmond comes on, just saying she she died, looking slightly down, with Oscar coming back, with him just saying, though Cinder is the new queen of the Grim, with um, what's her name? With Winter and just saying, so we're going to have more trouble in the future. That's good. Hers actually sighing. Though, Izumi just says, though she can actually be killed, unlike Salem. With Ironwood just looking at her, saying, you do what you have to do. With Winter actually coming along for this mission. Because she doesn't want say, her with Izumi to go alone. She's going to do this with her. With Izumi. But when they get there. There's barely any Grim. All they see. Is basically a big tower. That looks like it's been changed. Before that lands were all black. Now they're lava and red and lava themed. How Cinder actually looks. With Cinder actually heading to the pool and drops in it afterwards where Salem left. So she actually has the powers of the Grim. Though not immortality. She can just control them. Salem found a way to make herself immortal. Cinder has not had that experience yet, so she can still be killed. With them just looking at her, with Izumi immediately pressing down on a detonating switch, blowing up the tower, with her, with Cinder just falls. Though, though when it falls, it falls on an angle. Though when the tower falls, it's so tall that because they're all in the balcony, so they can see so much. They're really high up. Which, after that, it leads to them falling. Because they kind of set explosives on the side when they came in. Because Emerald and Mercury, they were out recruiting people. They weren't there. Because Cinder wanted her own group of people to lead. So yeah, though when they designate the tower, it's more or less on an angle, so the tower just kind of like free falls down. Though in the free fall, they more or less, basically, how should I say, what's the right word? Just fighting with winter and... And Izumi actually holding their own against Cinder. Mainly because Cinder has all the powers of Salem. So she is very strong. It, though. Seeing Cinder can't fly. Because she has. She just happened. It just happened a day ago she turned. She doesn't know how to. Use her abilities to the full extent. Which is why they're actually. Putting her on the back foot. So, before the tower lands on the ground and crushing everything in sight, because it was a big tower and they were in the front part where it was, was leaning down, Izumi actually breaks for it, saying, Winter, it's time to go. We have to leave now. 
with Winter just immediately just saying, yeah, yeah, we have to leave. With her immediately calling the ship in, though. Um, with her calling the ship, and the ship starts up and actually flies to them. With them going to, with them both falling down to the free fall. Though when, though Izumi activates her jetpack that she actually, which I actually, I'm sorry, I haven't you've been saying she's been using her jetpack as much as I should be doing in this series, which is soon to end. Which is sad. So, when, which accelerates the fall, but Izumi does a position where they land, though, when, how should I say this? Though, when, at this point, Mercury and, and Emerald came back with nothing. They couldn't find anything. No one was there. No one was willing to help. Because the whole world knew about this. So, anyone that wanted to help would have been very targeted. So, they couldn't find anything. With them just seeing Cinder's hand in the rubble. And she's dead. She is very dead. Though they just see a ship actually coming up and flying away. Emerald is mad. Though she can't, she can't do anything. So, what does she do? She leaves and changes her hair and lives a normal life with Mercury. With them actually realizing they liked each other and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. Seeing they can't do much now. So they're, they're living on their own. They can't do anything. So they really have to go off the grid. Which Winter and, and Izumi come back. Very hurt. Like very, very hurt. Barely able to make it to the... Sh barely able to make it to Atlas. With, at with them actually... Crash landing, or more or less doing a landing that's very, very going because they're going very fast because they had a bolt out because the Grim were actually coming after them so much, so they just accelerated and went as fast as they could because the ship actually took a lot of damage, which led to the ship doing a front crash land. With everyone just being surprised to see that ship again crash landed again. Also, I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself with the crash ship. It just helps me do explanations. With winter, with summer actually coming out, saying, because oh, winter actually woke up in the time they were gone, which was about two days. With Ruby actually with Summer because she wants to get to know her mother. Though is slightly mad as Crow mainly because she kept his more or less she, her he was her dad though. So yeah, also she so yeah. With Raven there also, Raven has him in, or Raven's gonna be there soon. So, with them coming out of the ship, very hurt, with everyone immediately going up and helping them out. With them just saying to Ironwood, just saying, mission complete. With Ironwood just being, whoa. With them just being, oh. The world was saved. Emerald and Mercury couldn't do anything. They didn't have. The big guy was, or the guy with the big, how should I say, who had that crystal ability that can take in dust and use that strength, excuse me, he died, or he left um, Cinder because he didn't think Cinder was as powerful as Salem, so he left. He's doing his own thing.
with Winter and Izumi waking up in the metal cafe with everyone there, with everyone just hugging them, and Ironwood just smiling with the biggest smile he can muster, with him just saying, thank you, thank you for your service, you two. You two have honestly done so well in the time you've been here. With Izumi just popping up, just saying, damn right. No wincing in pain, mainly because her arm's still broken. Because she hurt her arm on impact. With them all just like... <sighs> with Winter just going up and basically kissing her and just says, Can we have some privacy, please? With them all getting a look, just saying... Just like one of those looks, just saying, okay... With them, with, yeah, can't speak. With Izumi and Winter just actually just doing it, and I'm not doing anything. They they have their sex. They have sex. Whatever you want to do about it, imagine you, and you perverts want to imagine that. Do it. I don't care. Though I'm not say, describing anything. I'm not one of those YouTubers that do it. Does that. So yeah. Though they weren't discreet about it, they everyone really heard, and well, they kind of had to turn on the sound dampeners in the medical room, so no one would really hear them. So yeah, why just had one of those looks, just think lucky. Though Ruby saw that and just kind of took her away to their own room, and did it with her. Crow and Summer basically left to go see Raven, which Raven was outside the hospital door with, um, what, what was his name? With, um, Yang's dad. With them just seeing Summer. And them all giving the, her a group hug, even Crow. With... Um, Yang's dad just saying, so are we keeping the secret now of everyone? Are we keeping that secret now? With Crow just saying, no, we're not. Ruby already knows, and you two, I guess, are gonna... So yeah, with Raven just saying, so, what happened to Salem? With Crow just saying, she's dead. With her being shocked and kind of relieved. Her just saying, I guess... I can leave where I have been all this time. With... Yang's dad just asking, where have you been all this time? With her just saying, well you see, I had a suspicion... Where, when Cinder actually died. Something came up of that. The power of... Two beams like beamed in the sky. It was a light beam of like a golden white beam and a dark beam. Though two guys came out of those beams and started fixing stuff. Though when Oscar does come out and does see Summer, they just he just sees he just says, with Austin's voice coming through, just saying, Summer. With her, just saying, yeah, oh man, I'm back. With him giving her a slight hug, and Oscar just says, this is weird. With him just saying, shut up, Oscar, for one second. With her just saying, you so, you got short. With Oscar, with Oscar just saying, yeah, so. With... Everyone just laughing a bit and just saying, So, Summer, you want to go get a drink? With Summer just saying, Yeah, I need a drink. With them even, with them even laughing harder, mainly because back then when Summer and Crow were together, they drank a lot. They were basically the best drinking buddies you could ask for. So, yeah. So... And they went out all together. All of Team Stark. They went out. 
Though, at the end of the night, they went to summer, they went to Summer's grave. With Summer with a sledgehammer, with her breaking it. Saying, I ain't dead anymore. So, yeah. The next following days, basically, Izumi and Winter were classified as heroes, and they both left the military and lived a regular life, and they ended up having two kids with with one of them actually being named what what would be a good female name for their a daughter? I know. Also, don't copyright anything I'm just about to say. With the, with one of the siblings being, um, one of the kids being named Sabine. Yes, I know that's basically Sabine from the Rebels, but.